Welcome to Trailers from Hell. My name is Jonathan Kaplan. I'm here to talk about El Dorado, Howard Hawke's first remake of Rio Bravo. El Dorado was released in 1967. It got bad reviews, but it was a big hit. It was written by Lee Brackett, who wrote also Rio Bravo, and you may know her from, uh, she wrote the first draft of The Empire Strikes Back. Hawks was so impressed with her novel, No Good from a Corpse, he instructed his secretary to get this bracket guy on the phone to come talk about working with William Faulkner on The Big Sleep. I met Howard Hawks on a weekend sponsored by the Directors Guild at a surf and turf hotel in Laguna. He came with his daughter Kitty and brought his personal prints of lots of his movies. Uh, when I asked him about El Dorado, one of my favorites, he said he just thought you should just keep remaking the same picture and you could make it as a drama and you could make it as a comedy. And he thought Rio Bravo was too serious, so he decided to remake it and make it as a comedy. Parallels are pretty obvious. I mean, he wasn't trying to hide it from anybody. James Caan is in El Dorado playing a character named Mississippi. He's the male ingenue. And Rick Nelson played that role in Rio Bravo named Colorado. Walter Brennan plays Stumpy, the uh, grumpy sidekick, and Arthur Honeycutt plays Bull, the grumpy sidekick. Robert Mitchum plays the Dean Martin role, the drunk sheriff, and Ed Asner plays the villain Claude Aikens played in Rio Bravo. We asked Howard Hawks what makes a great picture. His answer was, it has to have three great scenes and no bad ones. What's a great director? Someone who doesn't annoy the actors. <laughs> I thought you'd forgotten all about me. I thought that... You know something, Cole? I think we better get ourselves a new girl. Yeah. <laughs> you better not. Why not? I'm girl enough for both of you. I directed The Accused, which was produced by Sherry Lansing, who is an actress in Rio Lobo, which was the third remake of Rio Bravo. I asked Sherry what it was like working with Hawks, and she said she really didn't know because he hated her so much he rewrote the script to put her character in jail and cut her part down to basically two scenes. Hold still. You're going to lose your clothes if you keep that. I reckon you won't shoot any more little boys, mister. I first saw El Dorado on 42nd Street in New York. My first film teacher at NYU, a wonderful filmmaker named Harry Hurwitz, who made a picture called The Projectionist. He's probably best known for that. So Harry encountered a bunch of spoiled New York white kids going to film school to try to get out of the draft. And we were all talking about Chabrol and Godard and the French New Wave. And he said, you know, you guys need to see some American films. And he took us up to 42nd Street and we saw El Dorado. And it was one of the most enjoyable experiences I've ever had sitting in a movie theater. We all just laughed our asses off. And that was Harry's way of introducing us to great American cinema. And he really cured us of our snobism and our elitism. Beat up band of misfits with nothing to lose but their lives.